and animals in the world sphere. And those things I interpret from my own personal sphere. Everything we do, everything we feel, everything we think belongs only to us and is the result of what we have in our own personal spheres. Each human being has his or her own personal sphere and knowing what you store there, what beliefs you have, what fears you have, what dreams you have, will give you the reins to controlling your own personal sphere. Once you know what is inside your sphere, you will be able to control them, to control all those intangible assets. If there is a belief in your personal sphere that you don't want to have anymore, you're the one who can change it. You're the one who can identify that belief, question it, and change it. Yes, as a humanologist, I can help you with the process. I can teach you how to do that. I can teach you how to identify beliefs, question them, and change them. But I cannot identify, question, or change the beliefs themselves. As a humanologist, I am outside your personal sphere. My job is only to give you enough information so you can take it into your personal sphere if you so wish to do so. I can give you information so you can expand your worldview, so you can question your beliefs, so you can discover your personal essence, so you can change whatever it is that is making you unhappy within your personal sphere. I said before that happiness can only be defined by each human being. Now you might understand why. Happiness is within your personal sphere and depends exclusively on your beliefs. What do you believe makes you happy? What makes you feel happy? Your definition of happiness is only yours. It's part of your personal sphere. You are the only person, therefore, who can define happiness for yourself. So, do you want to do that? Do you want to define what happiness means to you? Do you want to define what it is that you believe that makes you happy? Once you know, you will be able to control your own happiness. You will be able to decide, okay, yes, I am happy, or no, I'm not happy. And if you're not happy, you will then be able to decide, what is it that I need to feel happy? Or what is it that I need to change so I stop feeling unhappy? Everything is in your power. Once you understand what you treasure and keep within your personal sphere, you will have control over your own being. Because at the end of the day, you are what your personal sphere treasures. Let's go back to Bob Marley. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, don't worry, don't do it. Be happy. There we go again. We were talking about the four basic elements of the human being in humanology. We spoke about the personal essence, we spoke about beliefs, we spoke about worldviews, and we also spoke about the personal sphere. Everything that you have inside the personal sphere will determine who you are, will determine what kind of human being you are, will determine what it is that you experience, what it is that you think, what it is that you feel, what it is that you see in the world. That's why when I was at the, at the World Happiness Festival last weekend, I, I somehow mm, refuted everybody's opinion when they were saying, In order to be happy, you have to feel grateful. In order to be happy, you have to contribute to other people's happiness. I said, wait a minute. No, that is not so. That is not true. That might be true for a certain number of people. That might be true only for those who believe that happiness equals gratitude or equals contribution. If happiness doesn't have anything to do with gra with gratitude or gratefulness or contribution in your own opinion, then uh, happiness will be complete will be something completely different for you. 
Happiness is what you make it. That's why I always say that we, each of us, human beings, have to decide, have to define, have to choose our own reality and our own lives. What is it that you want to believe? What is it that you want to think? What is it that you want to experience? Throughout Conversations with Jessica every two weeks on Wednesdays, we're going to be talking about the contents of personal spheres. We're going to very, very slowly and in a very detailed way, we're going to analyze each of the contents of human being personal spheres. And we're going to try and give you the tools you need to really work on your own personal spheres so you can discover what your personal uh, personal essence is so you can identify, question, and change any beliefs you don't want to have anymore, so you can handle your fears, your stress, so you can really take control of the human being that you are. Humanology is here to serve you. Humanology works with and for human beings and helps us understand who we are and what our relationship is to the world and to other human beings. Because at the end of the day, relationships are also part of our own personal spheres. What do I feel for that other person? How do I see that other person? What do I think about that other person? Will clearly determine how I relate, how I engage, or how I don't engage. Humanology helps you understand yourself and helps you understand the world and other human beings. So... Do you want to learn more about humanology? Do send me your questions. Please contact me. Please get back to me with your comments, your questions, your doubts. This new discipline of humanology is growing very fast throughout the world. And uh, people are already being trained as humanologists. So don't keep your questions. Send them to me. Every Wednesday, every two Wednesdays on our Conversations with Jessica, I will be answering one question from the audience, from you listeners. I will try and give you as many details as I can so you can take that information and introduce it into your personal sphere if you so wish to do so. My email address, please take notes, my email address is info at jessicajlockhart.com. I repeat, info at jessicajlockhart.com. You can also find me on my YouTube channel. Look for Jessica J. Lockhart. Facebook, Jessica J. Lockhart. Twitter, Jessica J. Lockhart. Yes, Jessica J. Lockhart, humanology for you. And now I only have a few minutes left before Conversations with Jessica is finished for today. I already have one question sent by someone who listened to the first Two shows. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Yes. Somebody called Patty wrote a question saying, okay, what is humanology useful for? How can I use humanology? How can I apply it? Okay. Thank you for that question, Patty. You forgot to tell me where you're writing from, please. If you send me a question, do tell me where you're writing for, from. I want to know where people are located so I can, I can gauge how far humanology is getting, how far I'm reaching out to the world. So please, next time, just let me know where you're writing from, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can also text me your questions through WhatsApp. Okay, so how can a human being use humanology? Well, given everything we said today, I think part of the answer is quite clear. Humanology helps human beings take control of their own personal spheres and all their contents. Humanology can help you identify, define what your personal sphere, what your personal essence is, what beliefs you have, as a result of all that, what your worldview is like, and what your uh, fears, wishes, dreams are like. It can also tell you about what strengths you have, what virtues you have, what defects or weaknesses you have. Everything is within your personal sphere. Humanology can also help you with things such as relationships, how to relate with other human beings, how to deal with other human being, uh, other human beings' personal spheres. We talk about things such as personal masks. That is a concept that we will be explaining uh, a few uh, 
shows from now. It's a concept that I also developed that explains, that helps us understand how to relate uh, with other human beings in, at different levels, in personal rela relationships as well as professional relationships. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, please forgive my horrible voice today. I am completely hoarse after 10 days talking nonstop in Mexico, going from conference to conference, workshop to workshop. That is why my voice sounds so horrible today. Please forgive me for speaking like this, but at least I am here telling you about humanology. So, Patty, if you want to know what else to, to do with humanology, you might be interested in learning about absolute forgiveness, how to forgive people, how to forgive yourself. Those are tools used by humanologists. Humanology is like a big, huge umbrella under which we have every possible tool that can help us understand human beings and change human beings, ourselves. Remember, you can only change yourself. So when I talk about changing human beings, I mean human beings changing themselves. Under humanology, you might find something called um, optimism coaching that helps you recover your energy and your lost motivation. We use uh, coaching tools, mentoring tools. We use neuro-linguistic programming. We use positive psychology, everything and anything that might help us understand ourselves better and change whatever it is in us that we want to change. That is what humanology can do for you. That is what humanology does for human beings. I hope I answered your question, Patty. Uh, you can get back to me again if you have any other questions. And any of you, please send me your questions. Send me your comments. Write them here in the chat as well. I will read those questions and I will answer you live or when recording the programs in the future edition, coming editions of this show, Conversations with Jessica. Your free space on humanology every two Wednesdays at 7 p.m., Central European time. Please send me your comments, send me your questions. And now we're going to say goodbye for today. We're going to say enjoy life, be happy. Look into your personal spheres and decide what it is that you want to enjoy today, what it is that you want to live, what it is that you want to be. Thank you for being there. I'm Jessica Lockhart and this is conversations with Jessica. Bye! I can do anything I can reach any goal today I can do what I want I can be what I want to be Coach on Fire Radio.